Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Solace inverter, grid tied solar inverter. Looks the same as all the other Solaces that I've seen, except it's a huge 15 kilowatt device. Focus in there, please. So three phases, 400 volts, and startup's 350 DC, which is pretty high, although it might, well, I don't know if it'll run. Does it need that to start or what way does it work? It's a bit big, so I thought I'd have a look inside it and see if I could fathom what was going on. And uh, I've got my jack here, I'll take that out. Let's lift this over a bit. Puts a bit of stress on that data cable, but it's okay. And I started looking at it and thinking, well, if it has three phases and a neutral, maybe I could just put one phase on it. But looking at this, do you see that wire? Like, you can see the wire because it's toast. I don't know what's going on there. I haven't drained down any of the capacitors or anything like that because there's loads of them and because it's been off, it's been sitting on the floor for a month or thereabouts, so I'm not too worried about it. What's to do with it? I've been told don't scrap it, but I'm not, I'm not too comfortable with it really. So you've got an earth on this plug and you've got three phases. Now, I can see in here I can't see any IDs on the inputs. Normally with these they'll say L1, L2 and L3, but it doesn't in this case. The DC side's pretty straightforward, it's got four inputs. This wire here goes, there's a fan unit on the back. I think it's got a built-in fan on the heatsink on the back to keep it cool, which is smart enough. It seems to use the same kind of relays as the other solaces. These Zettler fellows. So they might be useful if I was to take that, that board off, desolder them, use them to fix solaces and uh, ABB Aurora Power 1s. But this thing, this doesn't look great. So what they've done is, that's just, that's just falling apart in my hands. They've taken a single wire, which I would say is certainly, it doesn't look like four mil, maybe, maybe two mil, two and a half and split it down into smaller ones, which is weird because you could just put the single spade connector on the end of it and it'd be okay, I would have said. But I don't know. It looks a bit small for carrying 15 kilowatts. But what do I know? Um, Hard to test, I guess, for me, because I don't have three phase. It doesn't, if it had like phases and neutral, I guess I could put, it's not the same thing though, if it's looking for 400 across three phases, 400 volts across three phases. If it was looking for 215 volts, you might get it to wake up, but I don't, I'm just making that up really. I don't know if you would or not. It seems to have six relays down there instead of two. And there might be more. There's a whole second board, but it seems to be all capacitors in there, big. Big blue cap capacitors. And that, is that screwed on? That board, I don't know. It looks like it has a little nylon threaded standoff bar. Yeah, it looks like six relays. I don't know. I just don't know what to do with it. Put it back together for now, I guess, and make a note on the outside that those cables are toast and that's the start of something. Solace. Not sure what to tell you really. There isn't much going on with it. Just looking in there, it has the pins for five. So it has the pins for a neutral, but it doesn't have a neutral. Right, questions or comments or any information about this or how I could test it, which is what I'd be interested in, please leave them below. I also don't know if I could get up to 400 volts for a start. 350 volts start voltage. Leave those comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you later.